welcome to Algeria. The Algerian community has been gathering here every Sunday since February 2019 to raise awareness about their government's growing climate of repression and increased prosecution of its critics. Today's gathering is also a celebration of Algeria's independence from France. People here are just protesting and asking for democracy, for freedom, for the right to choose their life, to choose their education, to choose what they want, and just to take back their country from the military dictatorship. Today we're asking specifically for the uh, liberation of detainees of opinion. Uh, they've been imprisoned for simple things, for posts on Facebook, and we're asking to liberate them and to uh, give them the rights that have been taken away from them. After a break from demonstrations due to COVID-19, Hirak protests have resumed, calling for sweeping reforms and accusing leadership of corruption. In the past few weeks, Algerian military has arrested hundreds of protesters across the country. Many protesters still remain in prison for expressing their views online. What people are repeating is that we want a civil system, we don't want a military system. The Canadian-Algerian relationship has remained strong since their independence from France in 1962. There are nearly 70,000 Algerians in Canada, most of whom reside in Quebec. Algeria is also Canada's top trading partner in Africa. In 2018 alone, trade between both nations totaled over a billion dollars. The government could help us by um, not recognizing the government that's in place right now. People in Algeria that are in charge, they are stealing all the, the money of the people or the money of the oil, and they get here so many houses and so many places. Like, just here in Sherbrooke, there are so many hotels and buildings that, uh, that, belongs to, that belong to people with the Algerian money. In Montreal, Algerians say they will keep demonstrating every Sunday until the Algerian regime changes. In Montreal, Iman Kassam, City News.